Hello, MechWarriors. How is it going? And welcome back to another episode of MechWarrior Online. No, wait. We are playing MechWarrior 5. <laughs> That's what we're doing here. I know the game that I'm playing. So, guys, I would say we're going to take a look at our battle mechs. They got some minor damage from the last mission. We were playing a fortress defense mission. I'm going to repair them right here because I want to continue my stride towards the center of the inner sphere. Kill urban mechs is a thing that we can do for some auto cannon shenanigans. Sure. We can collect some jump jets for some medium lasers. I would say also... No. <laughs> I guess no. Uh, we still need to destroy some J. Edgars and some harassers and some manticores and panthers. Okay. We can do that. Let's go ahead and take a look around. Where are we? Which missions can we play? And more importantly, which factions do we see? There's a clan faction mission. I will totally play that. Let's go down there and gather some clan equipment. I'm here for it, guys. I want to make my mix better. And at some point, I also... Need <laughs> I know. I know, I know, I know. At some point, I need to rebuild my dervish because we have a beautiful medium mech that we are not using right now because it is missing some key equipment. It's missing ammunition. But I think we are kind of okay with the mechs that we have right now. So let's see what we can do. We have... All the missions in the world. Break the line is the first one to play. We'll take a little bit of salvage, a little bit of money, and a little bit of damage coverage for nine picks. That is not a lot. We need to make sure that we are not um, uh, overstepping our boundaries here. So our worst mech currently is probably the Wolfhound. It's probably the fire starter, actually. Let's be real. Okay, in we go. Let's have some fun breaking the lines and uh, gather some clan equipment. Again, only nine priority picks, so we are probably not able to get any good mech equipment or, like, let's say, mech parts. We can possibly get some equipment, uh, I don't know, double heat sings, maybe a medium laser or so. Um, but yeah, every little bit counts. And we're gonna get some money as well, which is gonna be helpful. Attention. So in we go. Let's see what we can do. So this is a destroy base mission, a demolition mission, which means our machine guns are going to be really good at that. All right, here we go, guys. Push, push, push. Yeah, there's a cave complex here, by the way. I don't really want to go in there, but it's cool that it exists. Yeah, let's go. So, jumping, because it gets us further to the front line. Here we go, and we are almost ready to fight. 700 meters. At this point, I think I'd rather have the fire starter on my side. What's that? A dasher? Stuck. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Okay, misslings. We want to try to lag these fools so that we can possibly get their equipment or maybe mech parts. I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna stand and shoot this. Okay. You're dead. So, I don't know if the Dasher is down or not, but I assume he is. Let's go and demolish the base. Done. Ra 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 ra. It is a good start, right? 60%. Just walking through here. Destroy these because they have a big percentage of the base inside of them. Yeah, shredding the buildings like a boss. And then in the meantime, we can do this. Good. I don't really want to waste too much time here, so I would say we're gonna destroy everything we can as quickly as possible and don't wait for any reinforcements since we have two light mechs and their equipment that we can potentially salvage. 11%. 7%. Get out of here, you truck! Mother trucker! Okay. Yeah, let's actually destroy parts of the walls as well. Why not? Good. We're done. We will destroy the tanks on the way, obviously. It is a J. Edgar. Aren't we supposed to destroy these? 
That's the last one. Okay, and an LRM clan carrier. Light make in the house? Sure. Oh, Rihanna is helping. Shoot again. Come on, take him, guys. Thank you. Beautiful. And that is the first mission of the day. Oh, so good, man. So good. Yeah, let's get out of here. That was good. That was fun. That was pretty easy, to be honest. But anyways, I like it. Okie dokie. Ooh, I just realized we could possibly go for these GTE missions. Uh, get the elite missions. It's a great way to get some high tier pilots in our roster, which I still uh, am looking for. Maybe there's one around. We have to check this out. All right. And this is what I mean. I can take a kit and a probe. I think I like that. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Kill J. Edgar. Done. Good. Three machine guns, tier one. One upgrade point. I want to get this, which needs four. Cool. Maybe we have 11 million C builds. Yeah, we should really build some mechs. Maybe we buy some equipment? Like, can make a laser ammo. Is there anything here? Not really. Okay. Some small laser short burst. Nah, that's not a thing I want. Okay, there's a high reward quest here as well. Wait, was it a resource mission? It is a resource mission. Should play it, right? Let's check it out. Um, I want to play the patrol and the duel, though. Let's take this first. Okay. Oh, wait, I didn't repair my max. But honestly, I think we're fine without. <laughs> Let's go in and see what we can do. <laughs> so, this is a duel. In the duel... Our urban mech shines again, so we know that this thing is uh, tried and true, and it works in a single, like, arena combat scenario. Now we are probably fighting three enemies, some of them might be light, no, probably no medium mechs, and uh, we have the PPC blaster here as well, so I think it should be fine. Let's try it out. You know what I need? Clan ear large lasers for the Wolfhound. I do believe that the quirks, the large laser quirks, will apply to the ER lasers of the clan variety. So that would be nice. Better cooldown, less beam duration and stuff like that. And those lasers are light. Speaking of light, there's none here. Let's go with night vision. Where is the dropship? There is the dropship. These fungi, they actually slow me down. Free loot? Don't mind if I do. Ah, uh, we got opportunistic pirates. Interesting. Shall we destroy them? It is a primary objective, so the answer is yes, we shall. Hollander. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So, how good are you with your Gauss rifle? I'm gonna ignore the spider. You're pretty dead, that's what you are. Okay, there's another thing to capture. Cool. But we probably want to get this guy down before we do anything else. Oh. Okay. He's not going down easily. Alright. So. Yeah, we took some damage. And I think I'm gonna take this here, using the little snatch of the loot as a cooldown period, and then we we keep going. What's the medium mech? Another Hollander. But the bigger variety. Bigger variant, is what you say, right? Dead. Also dead. And also dead. Am I gonna overheat? I mean, he's lagged. Ah, let's go for it. I might shut down here. But who cares? Let's get out of here. Beautiful. Yeah, I know, these missions are rather easy, but... I mean... Sometimes you gotta... You gotta loot a little bit. We can go for a challenge after this here. And honestly, I believe those GTE missions are challenges. So let's check them out. 
We will play the resource mission though, because those are usually really good and we might find something cool. I like the fusion core, but we cannot take it. Damn it. Pick a gauss. I think it's time. Medium laser to upgrade. Some uh, jump jettos. I guess I get the locust part. Yeah, it's uh, it's not great. The spider is worth more, so we'll take that and sell it. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So, now we're gonna press that repair button. And now, we are looking at the exploration. Oh, and the patrol. Oh, I don't like patrol, but okay. Let's do it. 15 Head picks. Up, Commander. Weather conditions in the area will restrict visibility ready up. and have an effect on your senses. Ready up, ready up, ready up. Man, we're playing those missions back to back to back to back to back. But I hope that's what you're here for, guys. Uh, you are in for some action today. The question is, what would we do with our um, with our dervish to make it less of a bad mech? I do like to keep the null signature system around, but for that we need better heat management and kind of a weapon that is still cold. So missiles come to mind. We have an additional point of interest. Okay, cool. Okay. I love the jump jet acceleration. It's so cool. Yeah, we got this. So we certainly want to check the second point of interest. Flying! I'm making a breach so I can go through this a bit faster. And see what's coming. Jump jet fuel. Eliminate existing enemy forces. Moving out. Yeah, you can stay here. I'm gonna investigate the other part. Hostile transport ship coming in. Oops. Hello. I'm moving away from this. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should stay. Enemy battle mech on yeah, you can deal with it. It's no big deal. I'm helping. <laughs> okay. Investigate. Stay in the circle. Leave it to the friends to deal with Irby and the Dasher. Look at this guy. This guy is running 10 SRMs and 2 medium lasers on such a light mech and he's so fast. So cute. We did it. 3 million sea bills. Stay sharp, mech warriors. Ally command reports enemy movement is projected to hit All right, we got some ambushers as well. That's cool. Jenna to C and Arasa. Copy, we're on it, sir. Okay, let's fly. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel. Fly like a Jenna. Okay, we got him. Is he gonna leg himself? He's not. But I did. Good. Uh, what are you? You are a Locust. You take the Locust, I'll take the tanks. You know, splitting up is usually a bad idea, but with this little resistance, I think we can get it done. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Okay. We did it. Alright. Uh, evac zone is here. Maybe it would have been a better idea to actually stay on Irby. Eh, I don't know. Would have it? Would the Irby have been faster or not? Jump jet fuel empty. Nah, with the jump jets on the wolf out, I think it's fine. But yeah, the wolf he took some damage actually. Heat management is fine, by the way. That was great. That was a good mission. Okay, next. Welcome back, Commander. Welcome back. Stand by for extraction. It was so worth it. What a beautiful time investment for gathering a lot of good stuff here. So, what to take? The mechs themselves are not the greatest. I can, as per usual, take some mech parts and build them together and gamble that I might find something interesting in the wreckage. But I could also just take things. 
That's 15 picks. Jenna's are very, very pickable, and it's the eighth part of it. Perfect. Means we got three left. AMS? Sure. Clan Flamer? Sure. I know that there was a the build there was a bin of AMS ammo. <laughs> but it's okay. Alright, so we can build a Jenna, I think. Can we? No, we don't have the right parts. We need five parts to start building of an individual variant, and we only have two, three, and three. A total of eight, but it's not good enough. Uh, we will get there. So, one more mission on this planet before we go to another one, and it is a rescue, a resource mission. Sorry. We'll take the resource, because it's the thing that we get here. So, 30 picks in the end. And... I would... I would forgo one pick... But I think it's important to have the fire starter on the battlefield. Once more into the breach. I'm gonna bite my butt if I am one pick short. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Some of my mechs are still under tonnage, and that's because some key elements are missing, and I just repaired them from a catastrophic mission that I played a bunch of days ago. So um, they need a little bit of love and care. Also, the crab needs a bit more speed. If we can somehow squeeze a supercharger or a mask into the crab, I'd be very, very happy. We have an XL engine, right? Clan XL. Might be worth it. It might also have an XL already, so... Eh. Probably with the double PPC setup that it's running. Most likely. Alright, here we go. Whoa. Cinder and Ember. Alright. Uh, Who do we leave at base? Somebody has to take care of our leopard. I think it's gonna be the wolfhound. Alright, so the wolfhound is gonna stay there. Where do we go? There's a high-value location right in front of us. It's an unknown faction as well. Okay, okay. They're probably gonna be backstabbers. We shall destroy them. Ooh. I'm gonna turn around. I'm certainly gonna turn around. Not a fan of that. We'll wait for our friends to be around before we engage that. Which is now. Alright, so that guy is down. Dudes, there is a lot of resistance here. But as predicted, they are fighting each other. That's great. Friendly! Okay! Cool! We'll take we no this real quick. Quick. Cool. Destroy. These guys are with us. Get the scent. Oh, it's laggy because of all the units here. But this is our high value position, which means that, yeah, these fools, they are the defenses. And they are scarier than normal. Okay. We got five tier... Oh, multiple tier five weapons here. Nice. Plus some extras in form of loot. Okay. It's another... Another mech. It's a lamb. Okay. What do we see here? Lego man! Oh, it's battle armor. It is battle armor, not a lamb. We'll take him. Good. And then the scorpion as well, because I don't want him to be in my bag. So, you are friendly, you say, huh? Hollander. Let's go then. I'm gonna let my AI pilots do their thing, because I don't want to um, fiddle around with attack patterns. With commanding them. 
When not not having all of my friends around, it's kind of finicky. Setting individual commands. As a carrier, we want to destroy him. Scare him here. Target eliminated. Oops. Oopsie. Shutting down in front of a carrier. Like that is never a good idea. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We need to cool a little bit. Unknown faction units disposition towards you is unknown. Yeah, man, they are they're friends, not food. Leopard is fine. Our fire starter took a good chunk of damage already, especially to the head component. Uh. Okay. So, on towards the next nav point. It's beta time. What do we find here? Tanks and the flea, which is completely and utterly destroyed. I like that. Alright. So here we are. Start scanning. Ready? And the next point is Gamma, which is yeah, not too far away. We can get there rather easily. Okay. We got some tier 3 weapons here. Oh, this is gonna be a juicy pickup. Flying. I'm bumping into a wall. Oh god, the scrapyard. <laughs> okay. Up and over. Up. And over. Commando. Just a good old regular Commando 1C with an auto cannon 2. So nothing to be afraid of, nothing crazy. Here's a wasp. Where did you go, friend? Wanna come towards me? Okay, random loot is random. Let's go. These missions are so, so laggy though. Don't like that factor of it. Boom, you're dead. Now. Speaking of, I need to make sure that I'm not taking too much damage overall. Did we get it? We did get it. Okay, the wolfhound is fine. And this is the last base. I can probably shoot once more with the lasers, right? But I don't want to overheat. Okay, we're scanning, scanning, scanning. 35%. Almost done. But we certainly want to get that thing as well. Another million seabills. We are rich. We are so space rich now. Cool. Let's get out of here. All right, it's the best way to get it done. Eh, come on, push, and we're out. <laughs> I'm a happy boy right now. These missions are giving us so much loot. But again, we are going for a challenge now. So let's see what we can do. I really want to try to get one of these GTE pilots. So if anything is near, I would probably go for it, depending on, of course, the mission type and um, if we can finish it. So, this is what we get. SRM-6, tier 5, light rifle, tier 5, large chemical laser, times 2, tier 3, medium rifle, tier 0, auto cannon 10, tier 2, and then tier 1. I'll take it. Clan active probe. It's good. But let me think about it. I wouldn't mind another medium mech, and why not take a Centurion so we can finally have one? Yeah, I'll take that. SRM, flea, mm. mini heat banks. 
These are great filler items. Oh, but we can't take them. We only have two picks left. I'll take some jump jets. They're always good. They're always handy. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Can we build the Centurion? Yes, we can. We have the AH variant, which is good. Well, we've got, got three ballistic here and three missiles. I would say we build it. Let's go. So it costs us a little bit. <laughs> it comes with improved targeting, weapon projectile speed 10% and cooldown 10%. Ooh, like it. Non-standard parts, it costs more to repair the structure, it has the left arm armor bonus and structure bonus, and then armor piercing composite rigid shells. APCRS. So we have a projectile speed of plus 60% and a cooldown of plus 20, so it fires slower, but also a damage bonus of plus 40. On the ballistics, on auto cannons specifically. Auto cannon two burst fire. We got three of them. I think that's good. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do something about that. But we will do it in an industrial hub. So let me take a look at operations and objective locks. And where are we? Legend gather the elite. Add a. Oh boy. Alright. A little too far away. Uh oh. Okay. Um, that was Edda. Where's Chainsaw? On Solaris. This, 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 this. What about Snowshoe? All the way down there. Oh yeah, yeah. We are at Fairfax. No, wait, we are here at Prink Prink Princeton. Prinkton. I'm gonna go to Ulysses, or Ulysses, and take the high reward quest afterwards. We can make our way down there. Maybe we can play some duels in between. Let's see what we find, okay? And I also want to start building that Centurion. That's gonna be a massive upgrade. So here we are. Um, We'll check the pilots anyways. You're ready to stop wasting my time? You have a lot of defense. That's cool. Let's get a move on. Sure. Time is money and we're wasting both. Okay, so let me take a look. Do we find AMS ammo? We do not. Do we find clan machine gun ammo? We do not. Do we find yellow jacket ammo? We do not. We got some jump jets. Tune single heat sink kit. Just 10% more efficiency. Okay, that's cool. Then quintuple heat sinks. <laughs> okay, for one turn in one slot, you get a 0.5 heat efficiency. That's cool as hell. I gotta buy them. They are expensive as crap, but hey, let's go for it. Um, nice. So here's what we do. We will start working on. Hold up. One more thing. Working on a centurion, I said. I'm looking at the crab and I see no XL engine. Oh, there it is. Never mind. That means we can actually invest into the scent and give it the clan XL. I think we need to. Okay, here we go. Uh, max armor. Bam. By the way, Centurions are also very viable missile max. Easily. Core out. Okay, 280 is fine. It's a bit big, but hey, I want to go mobile. We got the XL. 75 days. It's kind of working. We're getting there. Hold up. Endo. Clan Pharaoh. Right? Ammo done. Uh, we don't need those singles. That's for sure. Hmm. Just playing towards the whole ballistic idea with the projectile speed modifier and the cooldown, which is not the biggest of deals on a burst fire weapon. We can get things done. Uh, we got advanced energy only. NSS. Okay, we'll 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 see about that in a sec. Uh, black market countermeasures is what we have. Sure. With that, we are able to use the null signature system. Yeah, 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 it's good. 
Rest is uh, um, ammunition. We got so much AC2 ammo. It's just auto cannon twos, nothing else. He's wrong, I know. I know, I know, I know. Do we have half a ton? We do not. I think we drop the legs a little. And honestly, we can drop a bit from the arm. Because that shield arm is over-armored anyways. And we will face down our enemies quite a lot. Okay, let's go down to 43 here. That's gonna be it. So another ton of auto cannon 2 ammo. Countermeasures here. Actually, we can put them in the center. Standard sensors. I do like some improved sensors as well. There we go. And I would love to have a ballistic fire control system for the spread reduction, but we don't, so we can't. Cooling is fine. I could even go as far as dropping a, any kind of double heatsink kit. Now we are overcooling. Chance to avoid damage when active 60%. Heat dissipation when active negative 60%. No heat buildup while active. No like uh like innate heat buildup. I think this is good. It takes forever, but at some point we will have a centurion with some autocannon twos on the arm, and I hope it's gonna be good. Okay. On the flip side, we need to do something with our dervish. Okay. Let me think. I think everybody else can just get repaired. No biggie. And then we'll take a look at our medium mag. Let's give it some love. Why not? Alright, here we go. So these yellow jackets, technically, technically good. Yes. But. Ammo is needed. Is there any other weapon that we can utilize that is helping here? I mean, it should be a missile weapon of some sort. Let me see what is on the market. PLS is too, way too expensive. Inferno SRM 10. It's not what I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah, right? SRM 60? It, I can buy it. But no. Mm, there's nothing really here. So an option... Would be just regular SRMs, good old short range missiles, and just say goodbye to the void signature system. I don't know. What you will get is a mobility gyro, that's for sure. I don't know. Okay, I think this is what we do. Um. Best weapons we have for a bit of long range would be to LRM-10. I don't know. This guy is running about 90 kph. So is it a brawler or is it not? I think it wants to be. Any SRMs here? SRM-2, SRM-4. There's some SRM-6 shenanigans. What is a 6-2? Six missiles that was hot loaded all the time. Second rack could be ignited behind almost immediately. Ah, uh, okay, so you have like a like a hopper uh, situation here. All right, I'm gonna use some good old regular short range miss aisles. Endo is a bit too much in this instance here. And of course our cooling, especially when the Void Signature system is active. But we got a double bin of ammo, so that's cool. So we drop Endo, I know, it takes some time, it takes some love and money. And then we want to cool this guy like crazy. I know, quintuple heat sinks, huh? Quintuples. Right here. Gets us somewhere. It's not enough yet. So what about... Hold up, hold up, hold up. What about we do this? We drop the SRM-6 and we get it an SRM-4 on the arm. 
save some weight, which allows us to put another regular double heatsink into the mech. Which we do have. Alright. Can I bring Endo back? No, not enough. Not enough free slots. What about the heat banks? Pirate heat banks, not good. Not here, not now. I have to go clan doubles if I wanted to use some more doubles, huh? Yeah, so dance are always compatible. That's great. And we have this here. And this here. And one here. Okay. Almost there, guys. Almost there. We're overcooling, I know. But we need to because of the void system. So pirate heat sinks go here. I guess that's the build. Let's make it short range missiles instead of these yellow jackets. We are slightly faster now. I have a supercharger that I could also use. Hmm. Instead of the jump jets, possibly. I wonder if I have enough ammo. I could drop a bang for the charger, but then dance needs to go somewhere. It's fine. It's fine. 45 days, guys. Let's go. <laughs> so, our dervish is gonna get stuff done now. Let's make everybody happy because of the paint job. There we go. And I would say we will... <laughs> we will take a detour. Can I go down here to Monroe? Yes, I can. Ooh, these are good. These are against the clan. So we'll check another planet here. Possibly play the duel that we can find. And then go to the clans again. Hell yeah. Alright, what do we find here? I've More pilots? Now I want to get paid for it. You're really good with missiles. But I don't think I need another one right now. Let's just check equipment real quick. See what we can find. Heat pink double. Cool. Expanded. Eh. Don't care. Okay, we have Arrow, we have Gatling, Artillery, Gauss, Grenade Launchers, Haywire, LBX, Medium Rifle, Railgun. Micro Missile Double, but it's not the Micro Missiles that we are looking for. Super SRMs, Thunder, Ultra Gauss, cool. All of it is good. Guardian ECM. I buy one. It's good. Modular armor rear? Gives you just eight rear component armor. I like that as well, honestly. Dance weight caching, 50 tons. Wait. Does what it says. Discount Dance LLC is not liable for any potential injuries, death, or malfunctions while using the branded equipment. All rights reserved. For one slot, you reduce your weight by 50. That's a cheating item. I'm not gonna take that. Yeah, it's equipment cheat. I'm not gonna take this. No, thank you. Okay, what else we got here? Headhunter. It's too expensive, too expensive. Chain gun. No. Energy, no. Missile. These are all T0 weapons, therefore I'm not really that interested. By the way, is there AMS ammo? No. Okay. So, guys. 4v4 open. I love it. Let's go. Uh, this is a tier 69 mission. Giggity. Let's go ahead and take some salvage from it. And play a 4v4. This is gonna be interesting, guys. Alright, I'll play the dervish. I will, um... Bring the wolfhound, but the fire starter is kind of bad, so we drop the urban mech here. Okay, swap the pilot. Fenrir. And I'll take the new guy, which is Captain Joseph. Yeah, we want to train missile proficiency and defense. Okay. We good? I think we're good. Let's try it out. See what we can do. 27 days elapsed. And in we go. Holy crap. We might fight some heavy mechs. 
It might be very dangerous. We'll see. Ava Masters coming to you. Ava, what's going on? Arena. And we've got a real slugfest about to get underway. So that's a medium. We are supposed to deal missile damage, destroy arms, and deal damage. Cool, we can do that. Easily. Falling in foul formation. Um, my stealth is not enabled. Let's change that. We have a sold max on the battlefield, and I see a Highlander. The battlemaster. Keep my people in the low ground here for a second. Maybe I have to disengage from it. Um, yeah, you hold there. Okay. I need to disable myself again. Alright, we got one. Focus fire. On the battle master next. Ow. So, yeah, that should be a rather easy kill. Almost done. It's cool that the AI is actually using the jump jets. That's really nice. Oh! Uh oh We got an Islander problem. Nice. I'm gonna enable stealth again. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Stealth is too much. Stealth is actually heating up too much for me to cool down. Oh my god. Again, the innate heat buildup of stealth armor. It's big. Alright, we got the Highlander. Oof. Enemies destroyed. Last guy is a Vindicator, which is no match for us. So, although we still we have a, such a great amount of cooling, we got quintuple heat sinks. It's not enough. It's not enough to keep the stealth armor down, unless I got some external heat from somewhere. Where is he? Ah. That arm just became a casualty of battle. Let's see if that shifts the momentum here. Alright, we go for leg. Actually, center torso. Let's go! Definitely didn't disappoint. Oh boy. That was a bit scary, to be honest. But I think we can really do it like that. You just use the stealth to get in and um, overpower one enemy and then disable it and join the fight without stealth and then activate it when needed again. But holy crap, the heat? It's crazy. Okay. So there's that. We could pick assault mech parts. I'm not gonna. Or am I? That's a great laser. I will take that thing. ER large laser short burst tier 3. Ah, mag pulse. That's why we got so much heat. I see. That's good though. I'll take it. You know what? This is an item haul. Micro lasers. Yes. And then 18 picks. Just two parts of a Kintaro because it's also a very good mech. Let's go. Great. So, I would say we do a quick repair. Ah, Irby 2C. What is your idea, Irby? 210 rated fusion core. Seriously, what, what is it that we want to do with you? We have two medium rifles. <sighs> and then some smalls. I don't see it yet. It has all the quirks, that's cool. I'll leave it where it is right now. For the moment, I don't really want to fiddle. Okay, we started the build, the rebuild. Yes, we did. Okay. And, and that means oh, we can go into the scrapyard scuffle. Here we go. I'm gonna go solo. It's kind of important here. But the question is, which mag do we use? Good old Urbinator? I think I'm gonna say no. I will actually try the Dervish once more. Let's do it. And I cannot wait for the Centurion to come online. 
It's also an argument to upgrade my Mac base a bit so I can run more media max. Right now I have the Mac bay number one, which has an unlimited size, and Mac bay number two is uh, upgraded Here to 55 tons. We go. The match is underway and you can feel the intensity in the air. All right, stealth on. Hopefully neither of these mech warriors vomit the intensity inside their cockpit, Jackson. Yes, that would be an unfortunate mm -hmm. turn of events. Where are we? Where are my enemies? So if I jump, I generate heat. We are at seven now. And yeah, we are slowly cooling. So it was the mech shot. A uh, mech pulse. That hit us earlier. And made it so that we couldn't cool anymore. Oh, you missed. Stealthy. He missed again? Oh, he's go. not hitting me all at all. Them. And my heat management is actually quite good. From here on out, okay, NSS baby, oh, no, null signature system. Right. Disable stealth Even to cool down a bit. Easy. We can enable it when we are in the thick of the fight. Okay, move to the right side. Yeah, time is not your friend, There's a guy. More like a Goodbye. Okay, okay, okay. Our goal is to deal Any 750 damage, by the way. Or Let's do it. Counting. Goodbye. Ammo case just erupted. Ooh, what is that? A dire wolf? No, Warhawk. Oh. Why is there a Warhawk? Uh, I need to uh, enable stealth. Don't, don't hit me. Whoa. Warhawk. Nice. Stealth not enabled? I pressed the wrong button, apparently, but hey, that's okay. That's okay. Stuck. Uh, I'm stuck. Okay, Loader King is next. Direct. Ooh, baby. Down he goes. So we dealt the damage that we needed to do. PPC Axe is down. I love to see it. Hello, friend. So, um, stealth is enabled again. So we should have a nice defense. And this is one of these XL guys, if I remember correctly. Let's go for the side. And it was. Perfect. Two more enemies. One behind me, one in front of me. Disable stealth, cool down a bit. I'm behind you. Nice. Not dead? We'll change that now. What? Just cooked off. Get wrecked. Amazing. Amazing that he didn't die. Alright, stealth on again. And, and in we go. Where's the guy? He went over here to the left. Oh, right here. Okay. This is such a nice sand blaster. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Oh, we can certainly get this done. Yes, we took some damage here. So we should probably probably go for bigger mechs. But man, I love these duels. They're such a great way to gather some equipment and some money. And it's just high tense tension action from the get-go. Nice. Alright, guys. Is it time to start to go for heavy mechs? Getting parts of Loader Kings. I mean, Warhawk, yeah, but when will I ever see a Warhawk again, right? Double Heat Sync Kit, Kintaro. Uh, argument for Kintaro? There's an argument for the trap. I can take three parts and say goodbye. Auto PPC, not good. It's a bit of a tough choice. Oh. Now oh, we can get a double for three. Sure. Okay. 
Cool. So we leveled up. We leveled up our evasion. We leveled up our ballistics? Why? Huh. Okay, whatever. Um, so, guys, we did, so we did some things here. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.